It's a shame, James. It was going to be an electric factory. It was going to be one of the biggest pay-per-views of all time. But, you know, ultimately, John didn't want me on there. And I'm not going to say the UFC told me that. You know, I have my source. And, you know, things happen, you know. He hasn't actually came out and, and denied the rumors that he might have been on Epstein Island, James. So I want answers. I want to ask him the tough questions that the journalists aren't going to ask him. They're giving him softballs. I want to ask him the tough questions about his, his personality, about his lifestyle. And, was he or was he not on Epstein Island? Because there's no, there's no saying if he wasn't. There's, but there's, no, I haven't seen the call log yet. So I, I want to know. I want answers, James. Was John Jones on Epstein Island? I don't know. I don't listen too much. I just focus on doing what I do. Everybody do, uh, does what he does. I do what I do. So, Jim, in your eyes, what's wrong with the MMA system in your eyes, Jim? Huh? What's wrong with the MMA system in your eyes? Uh, what's wrong with the MMA system? What's wrong with the UFC, the MMA system in your eyes, as far as monetarily, with this being the largest payday that you've ever received, but maybe not the biggest fight that you've ever been in? Oh, definitely. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Let's just say this is my the beginning of my career. We can put it that way, of my professional career. No, it's different. It's different. A lot different. And uh, and I was saying the other day, uh, and I, this just hit me up the other day when I was on Joe Rogan podcast. Like uh, I just realized, like if I combine all my salary that I have made in MMA, he can. He can't even be half, or maybe he could be half of what I'm going to make in my next MMA fight. Let don't don't go to boxing, MMA. Let's stay on the MMA. So, and I'm speaking for myself. So, I don't know what you think about that, but for me, it's a huge difference. Urge other fighters to do the same as you, and to take boxing matches like maybe Usman or the Stylebender. Everybody. Chase his dream. I encourage everybody to chase his dream. Some people's dreams are just to do best in MMA and do MMA. We are not. Uh, we don't have the same dream. We are not. Uh, we don't have the same motivation about anything. But if somebody has a dream of boxing, yes, he should, right? But uh, you can't just expect like think that everybody out there want a boxing match. No, they are not. Some people have uh, has a uh, have a wrestling background, jiu-jitsu background, and they want nothing to do with striking, even in the MMA fight. So, it's up to everybody. I'm very happy to have been able to get married in this fight. I have certainly that it will be a show. I think no one will lose with this fight. I'm going to get more in the level of technical level, talking about the Giri. É um cara experiente, né? todo mundo sabe, ex-campeão, é, é um cara forte, é um cara ali que eu, é, é, é um pouco difícil assim, de entender o jogo dele, mas cara, eu tenho uma experiência muito grande também, estou acostumado assim, com, com esse tipo de lutador, né? ainda mais um cara strike, é, a gente sabe também que ele não é bobo no chão, é, é um cara experiente e estou preparado para tudo. Né? I 
Roman, he did he did he did a big thing when he did when he beat Robert, right? I was gonna ask you, what did you make of his performance over Whitaker? Because we haven't seen Whitaker get finished like that, other than maybe the first fight with Izzy, right? Right. You know, Whitaker has been the uh, you know I hate to use this word, but gatekeeper, but not gatekeeper to the to contendership or anything, but gatekeeper right to the title. You know what I'm saying? Right there to that mm -hmm. to. You feel me? Yeah. So he's like the king's guard, if, if you will. You know what I mean? He ain't just, you know, no disrespect to Robert. All the respect to that man. But, um, <laughs> shit, uh, yeah, when, when, uh, when Drake did that, you know, that was pretty outstanding. Again, uh, quite similar to what we saw Sean just do, right? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people expect to see greatness on display once more when, when Robert Whitaker walked into the, uh, into the, uh, octagon. And uh, we saw the buzz saw good buzz right through that, yeah. and we saw Sean walk right through that greatness, right? Not even give that greatness a, t a chance to rear its rear its uh, shiny head. So, um, again, this is why I love this sport. You know what I mean? You know, you can't underestimate anybody. So, um, yeah, um, it was the, impressive. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both performances were impressive and. The division, the, the division is more exciting because of those two performances, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the division has become a little bit more interesting, um, especially as far as I'm concerned. Um. And uh, I usually don't post, but I posted a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Try to state my case and put my uh, put the word out there, you know. Uh, anybody who want to look past that is just is just a foolish idiot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I know y'all into entertainment aspect of it, but out there in the wild, if you don't want to see, if you don't see that predator stalking you, yeah. you're going to get your ass bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I'm here doing work. You know what I mean? Class, uh, pro practice starts in a little bit. I'm going there and handle my business and get 1% better yet again. And yeah. probably 1% better again after that. And, um, that's my focus and I'm feeling... I'm feeling a, a swell of energy. I keep getting better. You know what I'm saying? People keep saying, you know, people keep bringing up my age and stuff as if we age the same. We don't age. I don't age the same as, as y'all. You know what I mean? When y'all turn 40 and 50, y'all plan on hanging it up. You know, I'm just getting started. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm talking about people around that time. So that's the way that's the way we supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all put you put all this poison and this garbage in your body. Y'all haven't purged yourselves. Y'all haven't. Uh, Anyway, 